Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, work on this piece right here. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, <clears throat> little uh, hertzian cones, looks like popped on the surface, and the, looks kind of a uh, weird texture throughout it, but uh, we'll give it a try and see how it works. I'll start out with a fairly large hammer stone. Tough. Let's see if we can get a big one off of here. Hopefully, this is showing up okay. Cool. Having a hard time getting much force into it. Breaking up my hammer stone pretty good already. Let's see if we can get a big one here. a decent flake but uh should be a lot bigger for the mass of this hammer stone Let's see how this other side does it's kind of napping on the side that didn't have all the uh concentric rings or the see cones on the outside of it we'll try this other side that has all the cones on it see how it works It's a little bit better. If you can see the uh, different quality there. It's hmm, interesting. It's quite large uh, quartz pockets in here. See if we can drive a big one off here. This does not want to go. The texture in there. It's just kind of falling apart. I guess that's kind of to be expected with this. Uh, all these rings on the outside here. Looks like it didn't release all the way. This is showing up okay. It's a little bit better on the mass, but it's just not evening it out very well. Good one over here. Let's set up a decent platform first. Ah, just does not want to release. That's ah, just some nasty stuff. Just got a little uh concretions in here. I don't know if that's dolomite or calcite. Looks like it's probably dolomite. Yeah, it's just breaking up on me. Yeah. 
pretty bad stuff. <clears throat> This would be real problematic to flake. Do a biface. It's really kind of tearing. You can see the edge is not really releasing concoidally very well. Wow. Oh, damn. That's some hard stuff. Probably make some real good cutting tools. Just with the flakes. Can hopefully see all these concretions riddling in this material here. Yeah, it's completely riddled with the dolomite mine it looks like. That's what's in, uh, inhibiting it from uh, traveling through the material better. Try a large billet here and see how that works. I'm not very optimistic about it, but give it a try nonetheless. No good. No good at all. Yeah, that does not help. It's really chalky and crusty material. Did get some uh, okay sized flakes out of there, but uh, let me shift off and you can see the flakes on the ground. Really probably not going to waste too much more time with this material. It's just so poor. Uh, I don't even know if it would benefit from heat treatment because most of that dolomite, I don't think it would um, heat treat all that well. Most of it would break up. But uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, put this in a bag and put a little debitage in a bag and can take a look at it. Just some early bifacial reduction. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take a few more. Off this cortical side. Gonna have to use the hammer stone though. Sorry, I think that one might have been out of frame. Let me zoom out a little bit. That's really doing a number on my hammerstone here too. Okay. a little bit better. I think this would definitely need to be heat treated this one. It's got a little bit of the concretions. Put that one to the side. Let's try one more next to it. Go ahead 
shouldn't have been in this material. Jeez. This does not want to release. It's an okay piece there. Again, it's so chalky, it would definitely need to be heat treated. Let's just see how far we can take it. Maybe we get a big one right here. Nope. You know, this looks like that's about it. This side of the cortex is riddled with it also. So, this material had problems from the beginning. It's got all the uh, cracking in here, all these hertzian cones from a repeated battering either in a riverbed or elsewhere and then it's uh, full of dolomite crystals kind of an immature uh, solidification of the parent material so that is that I'm gonna call it kaputs on it and uh, maybe just three decent flakes out of it there's two in this one but uh you know these definitely need some pretty high heat treatment Probably at least 300 degrees C, if not more, probably more. Okay, so uh, we'll clean this up and then uh, get on to some of that better material.